What's going on guys? So in this video I got five, count them five. One, two, three, four, five. Very specific fragrances that some of you may have never heard of. So I know of you, a lot of you are looking for those great affordable options, a lot of clones and such. And I've got five of them that I really thoroughly enjoy from five different houses. Some you may not have heard of. Some you may have heard of the houses, but maybe, maybe not the fragrances. Some you can find at rack stores. Some you can find online. But a multitude of really good options from these five houses and these specific ones I felt were the right ones to showcase. So let's talk about them. Stay tuned. <laughs> Let's start with a rack store find before we start diving into the internet picks because thanks to a lot of you viewers out there for giving me this recommendation because I've seen it so many times at different rack stores, Marshalls, Burlington, TJ Maxx and such, um, kept telling me it's a great ombre leather clone, Ross is cheap, you need to check this out and you guys were right because Ben Sherman's signature is amazing, $10 for 30 ml. Your best bet is to find it out at the rack stores here in the States. It's more Tuscan leather in the opening. It's got that fruity sweet leather going. And then it starts to settle into more of a woodsy, ombre leather-esque type of scent profile. So not exactly one-to-one -one with ombre leather or Tuscan leather. But damn, that smells good. And it doesn't smell like a $10 fragrance. I'm sorry. It just does not. 30 ml, $10. I've had people tell me they found a 50 ml on clearance for 10 or 11 bucks. I think going rate for the 50 ml at the rack stores are right around 15 bucks. One of the best little hidden gem, cheapy, clone inspired type fragrances I think I've ever come across. So if you see this one out there, you might want to check it out. It actually is a great performer. It's very loud, very bright. It's engulfing. I have my little space heater on under my desk, blowing air towards me. And that spray is still all up in my airspace. This stuff is really strong. You don't need a ton of sprays to make a statement and grab some attention. If you like leather and you come across this one, I would advise you to roll the dice, spend the 10 or 15 bucks and just check it out. It's worth the dice roll. Not something you're going to be able to sample. You're going to have to just roll the dice, but in my opinion, it's definitely worth it. It's Ben Sherman's signature. Next is from a Middle Eastern house that's gaining a lot of ground. I believe they're owned by Latafa. It's Maison Alhambra. This is called Tabak. I did a full review recently on my channel of this one. It's supposed to be a clone of Dior's. Now, I'm not sure which one of these is correct, Tabak Color or Tabak Allure believe it's one of those. I'm butchering it one way or the other, but this is a beautiful honeyed sweet tobacco, a little bit of a juicy fruit smell at the top that does start to dry out and become a little bit more herbal as it settles down. This is really good stuff, and you can find it for around 20 bucks from discounters online. Great performer. Oh, man. Beast of a performer. If you like sweet tobaccos, more specifically a honeyed tobacco smell, that thick honey coating smell. Man, this is one of the better ones I've ever smelled. And it rivals a lot of my more expensive sweet tobacco fragrances. Because I've got tobacco fragrances that cost hundreds of dollars. This one's like 20 bucks range. 18 to 30 is where you can find it from discounters online. Absolutely worth checking out in my opinion. Like I said, I did a full review. If you're curious on a little bit more thoughts here, but that's really the basis of what you can expect. It's a beast performer, which I know a lot of you care about. It doesn't smell super cheap. It doesn't smell high in luxury. Kind of on that designer level of quality, I guess, would be the way I would put it. And like I said, honey tobacco is the most simplistic way to put it. It's a little ambery and warm as it dries. It's not full of spice or anything like that. Soft woody feel, nuance in the backdrop, but nothing real heavy. But it's mostly about this fruitiness, for this fruity sweet tone at the top, mixing with the honey and the tobacco, settles into a more thick sweet honey tobacco that dries down into a lightly herbal, almost woody type of feel with the tobacco. That's pretty much the three phrases, phases I get from it. Check this one out if you're interested. This is Tabac from Maison Alhambra. One of my personal favorites, this is actually my absolute favorite clone of Raja Parfum's Elysium. It's a bit more metallic than the real deal because I have the Parfum Cologne and I have the Parfum Pour Homme. Uh, this is a bit more metallic, sweet, fruity. Performance is great. It's from Sammy Andrus Fragrances called Blue Sapphire. So regulars on my channel, you've probably heard me talk about this one before. I have a few bottles of this. Some of you newer to the channel, you may not have ever heard of this house, heard of the reviewer. Sammy Andrus is a very popular Hispanic reviewer, large channel, over 
well over 100,000 followers on YouTube, and he makes some really good clones, and this one is my favorite. It's the cream of the crop. As you can see, like, I, I, I rock this, you know what I mean? Don't need a ton of sprays, four to five sprays, which we're going to spray it as a matter of fact. Last all day, it's rich, thick, fruity sweetness, sweet fruits in the top with citruses, and it's very metallic. So it, it takes a lot of the herbaceous facets of Elysium Parfum Pour Homme and removes them. It's more of a citrus aromatic than an aromatic fougere at its core. And like I said, performance is great. 10 to 12 hours of longevity, loud projection, great sillage. Performance is awesome. Mid $20 range before any discount codes for a 30 ml, not super duper cheap, but still very affordable. And 30 ml goes a very long way. That's the most important thing. You don't need many sprays. I've had this bottle for years and I'm about halfway through this bottle. I got about 15 ml roughly left in there, maybe a little bit less. This stuff will last, especially if you have a sizable collection that's more than 20 or 30 fragrances. You might want to take a look at this one. There's other great offerings from the house for sure. The Sapphire Collection from Sammy is the way to go from him. But for me, the cream of the crop is this clone of Elysium called Blue Sapphire. Next is from another smaller clone house that you may not have heard of. He likes to do a lot of blends for his originals. Um, but this one in particular, I actually like better than the original. I'm a huge Prada Lome fan. The DNA as a whole, Prada Lome is the first iris-based fragrance that... I ever fell in love with and wanted to explore all the different facets of different ways Iris can come across in designer and niche fragrances. This is called Iris Man from Making Sense, Michael Dinsmore. So some of you have heard me that have followed for a while have heard me talk about this house. And I'll have links to everything below if you want to check it out. This is a 17 ml. You can get multiple sizes all the way up to 100 ml. You can get samples. So if Prada Lome was an x straight. This is what it would be. So some of the brightness is gone from the Eau de Toilette. I did a full review on this one as well. The Eau de Toilette's much brighter because it's a much, much lighter oil concentration, but the scent profile here is nailed down. It's damn near one-to-one. -one. It's 90% or better accuracy from start to finish, and it lasts all day. This is super long-lasting. Not that Prada Lone was ever really much of a slouch. I think it's underrated for how good that thing performs, but this performs even better. It's not quite as loud, but it's got a nice scent bubble because it's a high oil concentration. So there's a density, a higher density anyways, to the scent bubble that you'll have from this versus Prada Lone. Like I said, it's an x -ray. It's high oil concentration. I think 40% is what he does on this one. Oh, man. Soapy iris, spices, a little peppery. God, that's good. Kind of starting to become my favorite from the house. That's why I felt like this was a perfect example to feature for you guys of a clone that you may not have ever heard of that's actually better than the original, in my opinion. That's how I really feel about it. So 20 bucks before any discount codes for these 17 mLs, but you can go all the way up to 100 mL. And I'm telling you, three or four sprays of this way more than enough you might want to check this out check out the house as a whole i got a bunch of fragrances from making sense right here that are great but i gotta tell you if you're looking for the ultimate for prada Lome, you want to check out making sense iris man this last one is some of the juiciest of citrus i've ever smelled i have not smelled the original but as a standalone because i've smelled several of the clones of this fragrance we're talking about louis vuitton lemensite i think that's how you say it lemensite Eh. Whatever. Point being, Lamensity from Alexandria Fragrances. This is a 60 ml. As a standalone, is amazing. I don't know how accurate it is of a clone, but you want to talk about some of the most juicy, sweet, mouth-watering citrus. Clean musk, super aromatic, a little soapy. This is just so, so good. Kind of becoming my favorite from Alexandria, though I do have several. Their clone of Et Sauvage Elixir, I think, is top tier. The most accurate depiction of Sauvage Elixir from a quality standpoint, from the scent profile top to bottom, from the performance, and so on. But the, the freshness of this citrus is just so authentic and believable to me. It's juicy and mouth-watering that I felt like this would be even better to feature than the Sauvage Elixir clone because they got a ton of great clones. They have plenty really good originals. The Hefe's line, all of them are good, for example. But if you're the type that likes freshies and you want one that's a banger performer, you might want to check out Lemensity. Like I said, I don't have any experience with the original that it's cloning, so I can't really weigh in on how accurate it is as far as the 
the clone aspect of it. But the quality is great. The performance is phenomenal for as fresh citrus based as it is. And the scent profile is so incredible. It's so good. Magnifique. Magnificent. Pick a word. It fits the damn fragrance. Get a sample and try it. You can grab bottles. There's discount codes available. You get 60 mLs like this. You can get 100 mLs. There's a lot of ways to check it out. There's a lot of good stuff from them. But if you like citrus, you're going to want to check this one out. Lamensity from Alexandria Fragrances. Well, that's the five that I have for you today. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Because I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. Have you tried any of these five? Or what have you tried from any of these houses, if you're familiar with any of them? I'd be very curious to hear you guys' thoughts down below. Like I said, I'll try to have links to everything in the description to help you guys out. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these five, and you give them a spray now, pretty confident you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys. Oh,